How y'all doing today? I'd like to welcome y'all to my third annual uh, peanut cooking. Or nut cooking as we call it. I uh, boil some Cajun style peanuts every year. Been doing it for about three years now. What I start out with, we have uh, down here, we got green peanuts, okay? I got a big sack here of some green peanuts. Most important thing when you're starting to cook the peanuts. Uh, you want to measure the amount of water you're going to use in your peanuts because that determines the amount of seasoning you use. Now, I like to cook Cajun style peanuts. That's what me, my family, and all our friends like. So, we're going to make this recipe Cajun style. Now, if you want to, you could leave the Cajun stuff off and go with just salt. But anyway, I'm going to take you through the steps here of how you get these peanuts going. Like I said, these are green peanuts, these aren't the, the dry peanuts or anything like that. Okay, first off, you want to get your pot there. I got about a, just one of my crawfish pots, about 120 quarter. And I'm going to cut these nuts open, the sack open here. We're going to pour them in, and what we're going to do, we're going to wash them and kill two birds in one shot. We're going to wash them, and we're going to measure the amount of water needed to cook them. Now let me pour these in here real quick. I'll show you. Okay, so we're just doing this one little sack here. Let me flip this around, take you over here maybe so you can see a little better. All right, see where the peanuts come up to there? In the in the pot, I'm gonna have my water probably up about, I don't know, two rings above the peanuts. So what I've got here, I've got one of these restaurant style water buckets. This holds, well I've got it with 20 quarts of water in it got a little measuring thing over here I don't know if you can see on this side it's saying 20 quarts so I'm gonna measure the water till it comes in there and gets up to that second hole above the peanuts see how much water that takes that way we can formulate how many seasons to do and then we're gonna uh, I'll show you how we wash them okay so now I got the water in there and we're up see I counted down one two three four five but they're on about the sixth hole down and that's where I want to be. See these peanuts are going to float a little bit. So that's fine. So what we're going to do, uh, I me er, measured that it was 32 quarts, 8 gallons and that's the key number. I'm going to measure out my seasons for 8 gallons. Now I'm going to fill this up kind of the rest of the way and we're going to start washing these peanuts. Okay, so what you do to start washing these guys, just stir them around in here. Get them nice and stir, agitated. And like I said, these, these particular pants are pretty clean for the most part, but I just want to be sure, you know, and kind of look through here, make sure there's no fault objects or anything in there. I just want to kind of throw it out. Just kind of sift through them, okay? All right, y'all. Now we're getting the uh, ingredients ready, the spices. Like I said, this is per gallon you're going to put this list that I read, okay? And I've already done this for eight gallons, so that's why my piles of spices are so big. You want one tablespoon of cayenne pepper per gallon. You want one teaspoon of pepper. I didn't have that much pepper. It, it don't matter. Everything doesn't have to be exact, okay? You want one teaspoon of garlic powder. You want a bay leaf. I didn't have bay leaves uh, whole. I had them chopped up, so I just put a pile down there. Not that big a deal. You want one teaspoon of sweet basil. There's some sweet basil there. You want one half cup of salt. Put my salt in this thing here. Measure that out. Then you want four ounces of seafood boil. Of course, I'm down here, Mississippi. I'm using some slap your mama. So I'm going to use about 32 ounces in this whole deal. I'm going to put it all in this bowl. I'm going to bring it out. And when we get ready to start boiling. Also, get you some of this Zatarain's crab boil in a bag. There's some wonderful good spices in here. Man, it smells good. Uh, I'm putting one in here if you're just doing it with a gallon of water or something. All my store had was three left, so I'm just gonna put three in there. They don't really have much spice to it, just flavor. Really good flavor. Okay, I just got those peanuts out of that bath. See all that dirt in that water? We're gonna throw that water out. I'm gonna put the uh, measured amount of water in there. Okay, my 32 quarts, my eight gallons, and we're gonna move on. Oh, by the way, before you put the water in there, it's a good idea to get it on your cooker first. Unless you got two big strong guys, lift that damn pot up after you got eight gallons of water in it okay so just got the water in here 
All right, I'm gonna light this burner here. I'm gonna heat this water up and get this burner kicking. Then I'm gonna put them spices in there. All right, now we got that burner kicking. I got this dual flame gas on there. We'll get this pot of water hot and quick. So, we'll let this burn just for a minute. We'll put them spices in there. Okay, now that the water's come to boil, I'm gonna add the spices, okay? turn the boil down a little bit so we're gonna bring all that back to a boil and we'll let those peanuts boil with their first run of boiling for about an hour okay meantime very important that you get your sitting chair not too close from a pot might screw back a little bit more and you need your cooler like this you want to fill it with some cold beer and you want to sit there and just have a good time watching the pot boil Okay, now that the peanuts have reached a rolling bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my thermostat down over here. And just get them to a nice good simmer. We'll check them here in a second. Okay, see how they are like that? They're just bubbling in there, kind of boiling over in this corner. That's good. We're gonna cover them back up and we'll let them do like this for an hour. Then we're gonna check how tender they are. Okay, now, so the peanuts have been simmering slash boiling for about an hour. I've got a couple of them out here. Let them cool for a second. And we're going to try them and see if they're tender enough. Okay, so I tasted the peanuts. They taste tender enough. And don't worry at this point, they don't have that much flavor because they don't pick up much flavor while they're cooking. It's soaking is where they will pick up all the flavor. So what I'm going to do, I noticed that about an inch or so of that water evaporated in the, in the pot. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it. You don't have to add any more seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit more water. That's going to help them soak. And what it is, you want them to soak that same concentrate of seasoning that, they, that you measured out when you boil. So they were boiling in eight gallons of water with that X amount of seasoning. I want them to soak in the same amount. So I'm putting back that extra water to evaporate. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the pot up a little bit. I'm going to heat that water that I just put in there. It'll probably take about, well it depends on what pot it is, but this burner's going to take about five minutes to heat back up. Then I'm going to cut it off, all the way off. We're going to let it soak for several hours. And we're going to taste them every hour. And you can stir them for whatever you want to do. We'll taste them every hour and see when they get spicy enough and soft enough like okay so they've been soaking about 30 minutes i just took the the lid off to stir them a little bit but i want to taste a couple of them here how are they they're good good okay 
So that's what you do. You just keep letting them soak. And another one of the finer points I want to discuss here, when I said uh, boil them for that hour and make sure they're soft enough, you don't want to be you want them to be super soft. You want to be want them to be kind of al dente or whatever because they're going to still cook here in this steaming water that you brought back to boil while they're soaking. So you don't want them to be too mushy. But we're going to put the lid back on let them soak for another 45 minutes and then taste them again. Okay, now I have these peanuts sitting here for a couple hours here with the heat off. And look here. Oh yeah, see that's what they do. They've all sunk down toward the bottom. That means they're sucking in juice. So I've had them sitting here for about two hours. I'm going to try one. We'll see how it tastes. All right. So some of that juice out. Taste them. Just not the shell. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. Just right. There we go. Now, I'm about to drain them off. And what we do, put them in Ziploc bags. Put them in Ziploc bags, gallon size, quart size, whatever. Just stick them in the freezer. And they'll keep for a long time like that. Or else, uh, the ones you want to eat right now or you want to give away right now, go ahead and stick them in the refrigerator. But most of ours, we just put it in a Ziploc bag. Don't put any juice or anything in there. We'll zip them tight, put them in the freezer. Okay, so I got them all bagged up, put in the freezer, the ones that we're going to save for later on, then I got some in the refrigerator. And what you can do, um, let's see, to, if you want to save them, um, if, if you want to heat them back up, I guess you'd say, out of the freezer, or get them out and get them to, to room temperature, the best way to do it is, I get a little boiling pot of water, about that much water in it. Just pour those frozen peanuts in there and just let it simmer. And it'll thaw those peanuts out real quick. Or you can just set that bag out in the counter for a couple hours. You know, and they'll thaw out just fine. So either way, works really good. But it's a good way to get you a lot of nice Cajun bowl peanuts.